after being briefly flummoxed by the front door, we find our intrepid hero, Feldin the Second, on a mission. He spent the previous night in quiet contemplation of the events that took place, and decided there was only one thing for it. It was time for a montage. If this diner was going to be an outpost, it needed some work. He spent some time clearing up the corpses of the undead. Some were buried in makeshift graves away from the diner, while others were unceremoniously crammed into a dumpster in the back and promptly deleted. Then he took a moment to wash off the grime and filth of the day. The next morning, things began in earnest. Fill out the truck with fuel, and make a run to the bookshop. Knowledge. He needed to learn how to construct defences, how to cook, repair electrical equipment, how to better survive this apocalypse. Back to the diner, he spread out the spoils on the floor and read. As a zombie craves flesh, he hungered for knowledge, reading into the early hours of the morning. The next day was spent looting nearby homes, a sudden desire for window treatments, and an urge to take furniture and doors apart took a hold of him. guns and ammo, a coffee pot, and even another imitation flamingo. And then he towed the now fully wheeled car back to base. nearby houses once again, specifically for a new telly, and he also stumbled across a radio with the automatic uh, emergency broadcast channel tuned in. Dawn broke once more, he ventured outside. A helicopter was flying in the distance and provided a slightly unnerving background noise as he cut down some nearby trees to finish fencing in the back of the diner. And this is where we leave our hero, toiling away about his business, trying to build and defend this place. I do hope you've all enjoyed watching this, and if you have, I hope you'll leave us a like, maybe drop us a comment, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and hopefully we'll see you next time. We'll carry on here in Project Zomboid, playing as myself. Cheerio everyone.